what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill and I'm up on the Citrus Twist design team with something I haven't done before it's called Pocket Life Sketch Friday so over on the Citrus Twist blog I've made a sketch of this layout and we're using it today to see what I can get up to so I decide to do a bit of a double spread and I thought I know this isn't really what people usually the size the, the usual size that people use for project life but I thought you could kind of tweak it to suit a 12 by 12 spread and I've put an inclusion of that in my sketch as well so first up we've got two filler cards that we need to do now if you're doing this at home following along with the sketch you can change it and make them photos you can change the pockets you can do whatever you want this is just to give you a bit of an idea of to how to use the things in the kit so first off I'm going through the exclusive embellishments and they're freaking beautiful I really love the tones they're like all I don't know it feels very wintry which is nice uh, down here in down under Australia a lot of companies often forget about us over here and I, we seem to be inundated with summer and bright and it's really not although we don't have a very cold winter where I am it's still not nowhere near summer and bright colors <laughs> so I'm going through and I decide to use that big day piece because this was the first day that we came home from hospital which is a pretty big freaking day in my eyes so all I did was I added some tissue paper to this kit and I'm just doing a little concertina folding of a tissue paper strip it's something that I really like to do I think it's a really effective textury frilly kind of embellishment you can add to your cards so that was the only thing that I added to this kit. Just a simple little bit of white tissue paper that I think was off a present that someone gave me for Archie. Next up, I'm adding some foam behind this embellishment piece. And the great thing I think about foam is that you can transform very flat embellishments into something that looks a bit more eye-catching. Um, I'm also adding this little, no, I don't. I don't add that there. I add tiny words. I know that. Yes. Citrus Twist have some of my favorite tiny word stickers and you know I do love me a tiny word sticker or two or 10,000 and the thing I like about the Citrus Twist ones is that they're typewritery font and I, I'm just so partial to typewriter font anything you could write anything and I would love it so I'm just stapling those onto a little label and then I think I just add a couple of hearts and maybe a doodly border I think so I'm recording this very late at night. Archie is asleep in the bassinet at the end of our bed and I'm hoping that he doesn't wake up. <laughs> we'll see how we go. I decide to use a, oh, I don't doodly border it. I journal it. I've still got baby brain peeps. Um, but I did want to let you know while I'm writing this that I a lot of people have been asking about an upcoming scrap stream and I will be doing one the first weekend of July I'm going to figure out what time my time it is and I'll let you guys know in my next video so stay tuned for that one I wanted to add something a little bit extra because I felt like there wasn't any like warm texture to this card so I added some of the wood veneer pieces and the wood veneer pieces in the kit this month are really really thin which is nice because if you're someone that doesn't want to bulk out their project life then this is the answer for you a lot of the wood veneer pieces I got a bag off eBay of hearts and they are so thick like thicker than a coin thick and they're just a bit too chunky every time I use them I kind of I don't regret it but I kind of tend to only use them when I've got other thick parts like flowers or flare or something that is thick as well I just feel like thin wood veneer is where it's at so that's my first filler card and we're on to the next one now so you could choose any of the filler cards if you want to follow on to, with the sketch um, to do this with I decided this one was just perfect because next to it is a photo of Archie sleeping on the I think it's on the couch I think and it was just like the card was made for him so once again I'm doing that same little concertina folding with the tissue paper that looks tricky but it's actually really really simple my glue tape was misbehaving this day I do remember that so I had a bit of trouble but all you do is I just did a strip of glue tape first you could do the same with double-sided sticky tape glue I think might be a bit more difficult you might be able to see it through the tissue paper and it might kind of move the tissue paper a little bit 
I'm using five of the little hearts in the kit. Another fun idea that you could do is if you had a small punch, you could punch out different shapes using the six by six papers. And I decided to bump up three of them on some craft foam just to give it a bit of dimension, just like I did with the one before. I'm going to the stamp set and I've been a little bit obsessed with ghost stamping lately. So that's when you do a proper stamped image using the ink pad and then you just repeat it until it fades away. And I think this technique really works well for word stamps and it kind of here, I, I made it look like it was fading away into sleep. I think well that's what I'm pretending anyway <laughs> it's also a really great lazy technique so it looks like you've tried hard but really you're just being lazy and not cleaning your stamp off properly adding a doodly border to this one I knew I added a doodly border to one of them I only did this two days ago but it's already vanished out of my mind adding a little bit of hottie shine of course and this card is all done I think I'm definitely going to steal that idea of bumping up some of the embellishments like I did here with those hearts again. I don't know, I've never tried it before. It just, I saw all of the hearts of the same um, size and I just thought it'd be a really nice little feature. For this one, that was a pot that had some flowers in it and I didn't think I'd use it as the potted flower. So I just chopped the pot off and then laid it behind this other piece, adding a couple of other little hearts and this card is almost done i add a bit of journaling i'm still struggling with journaling with a pen i had a really good pen for journaling and it's gone of course so let me know in the comments what pen do you find works well for journaling i've i think i i think i've also used a sharpie pen from memory this pen is hopeless i don't know why i try to make it work but it doesn't work so ignore this part but it's a, I think it's a pilot, is it a pilot G2? And it rubs off, it's horrible. So I do fix it up later with a Sharpie pen, but for the meantime, it's doing okay. And I am definitely one for uh, journaling straight onto photos. I think that in this digital age, that it's nice that we still have the original copies of photos, but it's sometimes nice just to journal straight onto the photo and just have a bit of a fun play with it. So this is a photo of Aaron's dad and stepmom, and I just loved this. I wanted to do a bit of an embellishment here, but nothing too, nothing too much because didn't the photo of them is takes up a lot of space in the four by six. So I decided to do a little banner that I cut from the six by six papers and this little piece that says loving each other 24 seven because I'm pretty sure that they do love him 24 <laughs> seven. I'm adding these just at the top here. And then I thought that that cross paper, although I love it, it wasn't standing out enough. So I just needed to outline it just to make it not fade into the border of this photo. I've been experimenting a little bit with bordered photos. It's not something that I usually do, but I, I, I quite like it, especially for four by six photos. Um, let me know in the comments, do you do borders around your photos or are you a non-border? I'd like to know because I'm, I'm, I'm warming to it. I never used to like it, but I'm, I'm warming to it. I think I did a layout. Was it one of Archie that I did on the Inky Quill scrap stream maybe? And it had a border on it and that's what hooked me onto it. So here's a photo of Aaron and his little sister and she's giving him a hold for the first time. And I just love the look on their faces. It's just pure happiness. And so I'm drumming my fingers, drumming my fingers because I needed to find a heart. The good thing about this embellishment pack is there are a butt ton of hearts in there and you know how much I love my hearts. I added a little gold glitter heart that I had punched previously just from a scrap of glitter paper that I had and that one was done. So just a really tiny little embellishment. With this one, there was this dark patch on the side and I wanted to do something over there, but I wasn't sure what, and I end up doing a bit of a, a title down the side. So this is my challenge for you peeps, to include a title onto your photo. Now you could use these large letters, you could write straight onto the photo, you can add a label and do a title across there, it's up to you, but I really enjoyed it. And of course, I didn't leave enough space, so I had to go back and move them all over because I just stick and plonk. Who has time for measuring things? Lots of people, probably also me, 
but who's too lazy to measure things? Me. <laughs> so I added this little hello you and I think I add one little tiny word sticker as well. The great thing about these tiny word stickers is that there's a range of both like positive things and not so happy things as well which because not every photo is perfect not every photo is beautiful and that's the thing I like about these tiny word stickers that not everything's perfect memory and my life's fabulous <laughs> there are some things that are the opposite end as well but not for this photo because it looks gorgeous gosh he's grown up so now as I'm recording this he's now almost 10 weeks old which is crazy actually no, he's nine weeks old. Sorry, scrap that. He's nine weeks old. <laughs> and I'm just adding a bit of Heidi Shine in the corners here as well. Um, but yes, the time has flown and I desperately need to get on top of printing because this is the last photos that I have printed. I'm not up to date at all. I need some motivation, peeps. Give me some motivation. So you can see here, I use the two different page protectors. You could repeat this with an insert in your pocket life, or you could change it to suit a 12 by 12 format, which you can see over on the sketch on the Citrus Twist blog page. So there's that one done. You can see there's quite a few photos that I didn't touch. Um, I kind of just wanted to embellish the big ones. I thought they stood out a little bit more. So thanks for joining me today, guys. And I will be back with another Project Life page using this kit further towards the end of the month. And I'm also doing some things over on Let's Get Inky with this kit as well. So make sure you head over there to my second channel and subscribe if you'd like to see some more, some traveler's notebook stuff, actually. But I will see you all in the next video. Until then, happy scrapping and bye. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.